Bitcoin is the first and most powerful cryptocurrency ever created, but one of the most fascinating mysteries surrounding it is what will happen when all 21 million bitcoins have been mined. This question has puzzled investors, miners, economists, and crypto enthusiasts for years. Bitcoin is unique because, unlike traditional money that can be printed infinitely by central banks, it has a fixed supply. That cap is 21 million coins, and once it's reached, there will be no more new bitcoins created. But what does that mean for the Bitcoin network, for miners, and for the global economy that increasingly depends on it? To understand what happens after all bitcoins are mined, we must first look at how bitcoin mining works. Mining is the process through which new bitcoins enter circulation. It is also how transactions are verified and added to the blockchain, the public ledger that records all bitcoin transactions. Miners use powerful computers to solve cryptographic puzzles, competing against each other to add new blocks to the blockchain. As a reward for their work, they receive newly minted bitcoins and transaction fees. This system is known as proof of work, and it ensures that the bitcoin network remains secure, decentralized, and transparent. Currently, miners receive two sources of income, block rewards and transaction fees. The block reward is the new bitcoins released with each block, while transaction fees are the small payments users make to send bitcoin across the network. But the block reward isn't T-fixed, it goes through a process called having every for years. In 2009, when bitcoin launched, miners received 50 bitcoins per block. In 2024, that number will drop to 3.1 to 5 bitcoins per block. This gradual reduction continues until around the year 2140 when the last fraction of Bitcoin will be mined. This designed a deflationary and limited supply system is one of the core reasons why Bitcoin is so valuable. Unlike fiat currency, which loses purchasing power due to inflation, Bitcoin becomes rarer over time. This concept of digital scarcity is built into its code. Each having event makes Bitcoin more difficult to produce, increasing its scarcity and, often, its price. Investors see it as digital gold, a hedge against inflation, and a long-term store of value. But what happens when miners no longer receive block rewards? Will they stop mining? If miners stop, won't the network collapse? The answer lies in transaction fees. Even after all bitcoins are mined, miners will continue to receive transaction fees from users. These fees will incentivize miners to keep verifying transactions and maintaining the blockchain's security. As bitcoin adoption grows globally, the number of transactions will increase, and so will the total fee revenue available to miners. The economic model of Bitcoin after 2140 depends heavily on its adoption, scalability, and the value of Bitcoin itself. If Bitcoin's price continues to rise as scarcity increases, the transaction fees will likely be enough to sustain miners. Even a tiny fraction of a Bitcoin could be worth thousands of dollars, meaning the network could remain profitable without the need for block rewards. The Bitcoin network is designed to be self-adjusting. If miners leave due to low profitability, the network automatically reduces mining difficulty, allowing the remaining miners to continue efficiently. This balance ensures that the system remains secure and functional even as incentives evolve. Another critical factor is technological innovation. By 2140, blockchain technology will have evolved far beyond what we see today. Layer to solutions like the Lightning Network are already improving Bitcoin as scalability by enabling faster and cheaper transactions. In the future, most transactions might happen off-chain, reducing congestion and allowing miners to focus on securing high-value or large transactions on the main chain. Some experts predict that Bitcoin mining will become much more energy efficient. The world is moving toward renewable energy and green mining is already becoming a major trend. In 2140, mining operations may rely entirely on sustainable power sources like solar, wind, or hydro energy. This would eliminate the environmental concerns often associated with Bitcoin mining while keeping the network operational. There's also the potential impact of quantum computing. While it poses a potential threat to cryptographic security, Bitcoin developers are already researching quantum-resistant algorithms. Because Bitcoin is open source, it can be upgraded over time to adapt to new technological realities. Just as it has done since 2009, in terms of economic and social impact, the end of Bitcoin mining could represent a turning point for the global financial system. 
By 2140, Bitcoin might have achieved mainstream adoption as a global reserve asset, much like gold once was. Governments, corporations, and individuals around the world could use it as a hedge against inflation, currency devaluation, or political instability. We may even see the rise of Bitcoin-based financial systems. Decentralized finance DeFi platforms could integrate Bitcoin as collateral for lending, borrowing, or savings protocols. This would make Bitcoin not only a store of value, but also a cornerstone of a new digital economy. By that time, central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, might coexist with Bitcoin. While CBDCs will remain centralized and controlled by governments, Bitcoin will continue to represent the opposite, freedom, transparency, and financial independence. The balance between centralized and decentralized money could define the financial landscape of the 22nd century. When all Bitcoins are mined, Bitcoin will essentially become a closed-loop economy. There will be no inflation, no new supply, only redistribution of existing coins. Lost Bitcoins, which are estimated to be millions already, will further reduce available supply, increasing scarcity. Over time, each Bitcoin could become a significant store of wealth, with fractional ownership playing a central role in how people use it. This transition will also reshape the role of miners. Instead of chasing block rewards, miners will evolve into network validators and service providers. Their focus will shift toward optimizing transaction throughput, security, and reliability. The system may even evolve into hybrid models where advanced algorithms and AI handle parts of transaction verification, making the process faster and more efficient. It's also likely that new economic models will emerge within the Bitcoin ecosystem. Micropayments, smart contracts, and tokenized assets on the Bitcoin blockchain could create new revenue streams. Developers are already experimenting with cytokines and interoperable protocols that could extend Bitcoin's functionality far beyond simple peer-to-peer -peer payments. As the world's understanding of money evolves, Bitcoin's fixed supply will make it increasingly valuable as a deflationary asset. When fiat currencies continue to lose value due to excessive money printing, Bitcoin's predictable and transparent monetary policy stands as a global benchmark for trust. In a future where digital economies dominate, Bitcoin will likely function as the foundation of digital trust. Its blockchain could be used not only for financial transactions, but also for digital identity, asset verification, and even governance systems. This would make Bitcoin not just a currency, but a universal infrastructure for decentralized technology. Some analysts suggest that Bitcoin will behave like a digital version of gold once mining ends. Just as gold miners continue to extract and trade gold without creating more of it, Bitcoin miners will secure and facilitate transactions in exchange for fees. This process will ensure the ecosystem remains alive and profitable even after the creation of new coin stops. It's also worth noting that Bitcoin supply is not truly fixed in circulation. Many coins have been lost forever due to forgotten passwords, destroyed hardware, or lost private keys. This means the actual supply will always be lower than 21 million, further increasing scarcity and value. The psychological factor of finality, knowing that no new bitcoins will ever exist, could create a massive surge in demand leading up to 2140. Investors and institutions will likely accumulate bitcoin aggressively in anticipation of the last mined coin. This event could trigger one of the greatest financial moments in human history, as scarcity becomes absolute. Even though that day is over a century away, the journey toward it is what shapes Bitcoin's narrative today. Every having event brings us closer, reducing the pace of new supply and driving the market through cycles of accumulation and growth. Ultimately, Bitcoin's true strength lies in its design, a mathematical code that guarantees fairness, transparency, and scarcity. It's a system that can operate autonomously without human intervention, political manipulation, or centralized control. That's why Bitcoin has outlasted countless other cryptocurrencies and remains the standard of digital money. As technology, finance, and human innovation continue to evolve, Bitcoin will adapt. Its community of developers, miners, and users ensures that the network remains secure and functional. By the time the last Bitcoin is mined, humanity may have achieved full digital financial independence, and Bitcoin will stand at the center of it all. When the last Bitcoin is mined, it won't be the end. It will mark a new beginning for the global financial system.
Bitcoin's story is one of innovation, scarcity, and trust. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dives into cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, and the future of digital finance.